As Downing Street staff gathered for wine and cheese, the people of Blythe were in Tier 3, soon to be in full lockdown. Everyone here was expected to play by the rules during the darkest days of the pandemic. It shouldn't have happened. It should not have happened. Basically, if we were in lockdown, then everyone else should have been in lockdown. Totally disagree with that. Everything, it should not have happened. Put your hands up who hasn't broke a rule. I think everybody's broke a wall. Me as well, I think. But, but they, should, they, they should lead the way, yes, they should. They should be telling you what, they're telling you what to do one thing and they're doing the opposite. It's one rule for them and one rule for us. Those people that were told they couldn't see their relatives, eventually they died without seeing them. I think that's where the story really goes to. To be quite honest, I think there's more important things for people to be worrying about. It's something that happened last year. I think they should be focusing on this year. Blythe turned Conservative back in 2019. The people who voted Tory here said they were willing to give the party a chance after years of Labour loyalty. But could events in Downing Street last year damage that trust? Could it really be toxic enough to change how people might vote in the future? The Prime Minister's been to Blythe. He's promised railways and jobs, determined to keep constituencies like this one from turning back to Labour. Did you vote for the Conservatives in the last election? <laughs> and what do you think about that? Actually, I wish I hadn't. I wish I hadn't. You're a regretful Conservative voter. I am. And yeah. does this, do the shenanigans in Downing Street, if they're true, would they change the way you would vote next time? Yes. Definitely. Definitely. They should just draw a line under it and move on and get on with it. I mean, there's so much to do, so much problems to solve for everyone. I mean, really? Are we worried about a party? I don't think so. You I think it's... Get it... some of my stuff sorted out and the hospital appointments sorted out. I'm not, I don't really care what they do in Downing Street, frankly. There's a mixed view here, perhaps for good reason. A lot rides on the government delivering on its promises. People here will have to decide if a party in the past is more important than securing a better future. Nick Martin, Sky News, Blythe.